for trainees that are interested in going into interventional radiology, and I'm specifically uh, referring to medical students and even residents who have an interest in, in specializing within interventional radiology, there are a number of training pathways to be aware of. The new training pathway called the Integrated Interventional Radiology Residency is essentially a six-year training program. It's one clinical year followed by five years focused within diagnostic and interventional radiology, of which two of those years is focused specifically within interventional radiology. There's also an independent interventional radiology training pathway, and that residency pathway allows a diagnostic radiology resident who completes four years of training to then go on if they decide that they want to pursue interventional radiology as a career to do an additional two years of training to specialize within and gain the necessary skills and clinical training to be able to perform and, and become an interventional radiologist. And then the third final pathway is an opportunity for diagnostic radiology residents who are accepted into what we call an ESIR, Early Specialization in Interventional Radiology program. And if they complete that during the four years of their training, can get advanced placement into the second year of the independent training pathway. So that essentially means that they do a one-year clinical internship four years of diagnostic radiology residency, of which the ESIR track was completed, and then an additional one year advanced placement in that second year of the independent residency. A total of six years of training completes their training. That, that, that encompasses the three potential opportunities for students and residents to uh, obtain interventional radiology training. What I'm most excited about is not just the fact that interventional radiology residency uh, has been formed and now is starting to match residents, it's the fact that in five or ten years is when we'll really see the fruits of this effort, these efforts. We're going to be graduating new trainees who have now been offered the best types of training, the most uh, uh, rigorous training requiring clinical care of patients, mandated admissions and, and uh, outpatient clinical visits, as well as clinical care of all disease specialties that we encompass. The Interventional Radiology Residency mandates that all trainees get the requisite skills to admit patients, to care for patients, and, and handle outpatient and longitudinal clinical care, and be able to treat all patients within the disease specialties that we feel are germane or part of the domain of interventional radiology. So it's very exciting. I think we'll put out a better trained resident that will then allow them to better take care of the patients that we see. The Interventional Radiology Residency is going to allow the trainees to understand how to take care of patients. We already do this now, every day. Our patients identify us as their physicians. For example, if you're treating a patient with cancer, you treat them, you see them in follow-up, you see them in follow-up again, you may treat them again. You continue to see them throughout the care of their treatment until the, the cancer is eradicated or potentially to the end of life. But that period of time that you're with that patient can be several years, several years. And during that entire time, the patient identifies us as their physician. So it's important that trainees get that requisite training on how to take care of patients, on how to see them, handle the difficult issues that may come arise with those particular patients, and particularly with those disease entities. That's just one such example. I think the opportunity for the interventional radiology residency it takes on multiple levels. Our, our stakeholders or our uh, applicants to the residency will now immediately recognize that IR is its own entity because they can apply directly to us. But it's also been uh, not without a lot of work to be established with other medical specialties that we are in fact distinct and unique. The American Board of Medical Specialties recognized interventional radiology as a distinct medical specialty unique from any other specialty in medicine. And additionally, over time and in time, other medical specialties that often refer to us will recognize that as well. In many hospitals across the country, interventional radiologists, successful interventional radiologists, are, are, are viewed as such right now. We want that to be uniform across the country. And I think the new training pathway is the first step towards that.